Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice for radio. So today, we need to take a look at Zashian V. And I know we've looked at Zashian V a lot. I know that the idea of looking at Zashian V might not be the newest thing we've ever done. But what we haven't done very much at all is just look at Zashian V. Generally speaking, we look at Zashian V played with Arcus and Dialga and Palkia, that awesome GX attack that means your attacks do an extra 30 damage for the remainder of the game. But more importantly, every time you take a KO, you take an extra prize. Or we look at it with Lucario and Melmetal that has a GX attack that reduces damage done to all your metal Pokemon by 30 damage for the rest of the game. And you play it with Metal Goggles, which reduces 30 damage done to it, and basically lets you sit there and tank. But we're not talking about Zacian with either of these tag team Pokemon. We're talking about a rising trend over in Japan at the moment of playing Zacian V as just a Zacian V deck without playing any of these really powerful helpers. In fact, there's only one support Pokemon. It is a single copy of Zamazenta, and we'll get there and have a chat about that in a moment. Now, at this stage, I'm assuming that most of you are probably familiar with Zashian V. It's a pretty good card. It's got the redonkulous ability Intrepid Sword that says once during your turn, you may look at the top three cards of your deck, draw them, and if there are any metal energy, you may attach them to Zashim. Which means that if you go first on turn one, you've got a good option even though you're not allowed to attack. And it means that you've always got that nice emergency. And of course, it means that if you really need energy, it's got your back in that regard as well. It's a really very good ability. But it's also got an attack for free energy that does 230 damage, which you can pay because of the ability and metal source, which we'll get to in a moment, etc. So what you've got here, and I did my I did my end of year awards like I tend to do the other day, and I told you that the best card released in 2020 was Zashim V, and I don't even think there was a particularly strong competitor. It has got that rare mix of it is a great support card, there are decks like Blacephalon that play it just for the ability to draw. And it's a great attacker. But it's rarely been played by itself until now. And what we've basically got here is a deck that is built to take advantage of Zashian V and only really Zashian V, getting you up and rolling and going as fast and as consistently as you possibly can. Now, there is one other attacker, and as I mentioned before, we're looking at Zamazenta V here. Zamazenta V's attack is not particularly good, but it's got an ability that means it can't be damaged by tag teams, and Eternus still sees a bunch of play. And Center Scorch still sees a bunch of play. Although, to be fair, Center Scorch V is good enough that you'll probably lose to Center Scorch anyway. Because Center Scorch V using Welder can get going fast enough and start one hit KOing you. And that's a little bit sad. You got a chance, but let's not pretend. But against stuff like Eternatus or Inteleon, which still sees a bunch of play, this is going to really help you out and give you a very good chance. And then we've got support Pokemon. Now, essentially, what we've done in this particular build, by getting rid of all of those other support Pokemon, is we've opened up Galarian Berserker. Now, Galarian Berserker has a rather lovely ability, which says that all of your metal Pokemon's attacks do an extra 20 damage. So we play a 2-2 line, and we do play it with the awesome Galarian Meowth, the one that lets you discard two cards from your hand but then search for a Galarian Berserker. Now, this is huge because it means you don't have to play any cards that search out evolutions. You can just focus on getting your basics out, and then you can search your Galarian Berserker using Galarian Meowth. But now, basically, what you're doing here is you're putting your 230 with Zashim up to 270. And 270 is a one-hit KO on Mewtwo and Mew. And it's a one-hit KO on Reshiram and Charizard. It basically one-hit KOs tag teams. 
but you only give up two prizes, not three. And that is generally how this build of Zashian tries to give itself a bit of an advantage. By getting rid of all the other stuff, you give yourself just a chance to be a faster, more consistent deck, but also have access to this to do extra damage. The fact that you don't have to play water energy for ADP means that getting free lightning energy on in a discard pile, etc. is going to be an easier task. Because you're only playing metal energy, you're not turning some of them into water. Water cannot pay the attack cost of Zashium, and even if it could, it doesn't work with the ability, it doesn't work with Metal Saucer, etc. And that's the hook of the deck. Now, the other card we need to play here is Galarian Zigzagoon, and Galarian Zigzagoon is pretty important. Because when you play it from your hand to your bench, you drop one damage counter on one of your opponent's Pokemon. But look at something like ADP. I just told you our goal here is to be hitting 270. And those of you that know your hit points will have gone, hang on a second, ADP's got 280. That doesn't work. So that's where your Galarian Zigzagoon comes in. We've got a couple of copies of Jirachi here. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Find a trainer, put it in your hand. Jirachi goes to sleep. It's an engine. It's been used for a long time. It's awesome. And then a single copy of Crobat here. And you don't ever want to use Crobat. It's there for emergencies. Hopefully using Zashian's Intrepid Sword and using Jirachi's Stellar Wish, you'll be fine. But if you're not... This gives you an out. Of course, remember that ADP, a lot of the time, those decks are just going to want to use boss's orders to KO stuff like Crobat for free prizes. So being able to try and avoid putting that in range of your opponent is a very good thing indeed. And that's the Pokemon line. It is a Zashin deck using Galarian Berserker to add damage and a few little support Pokemon. Now, in terms of energy, we're just playing 12 Metal Energy. As previously mentioned, this is what can be got with the ability. This is what can be attached with Metal Saucer. This is what pays for Zashian's attack. No mucking about. More consistency. Moving into Trainers, we've obviously got four copies of Quick Pull here. Your deck is entirely basic, other than your Galarian Berserker. And Meowth's got your back in that regard. And because you're using Jirachi here, we've got four copies of Switch to move your Pokemon in and out of the active, and four copies of Scoop Up Net to pick up a non-GX, non-V Pokemon and put it into your hand, which is basically either getting Jirachi out of the active, bearing in mind using Scoop Up Net will reset it to allow you to use a, that Jirachi again, or to reuse Galarian Zigzagoon, to drop extra damage down for if you're a little bit short of that KO. Which is nice. In terms of supporter cards here, we see what we generally expect to see. We've got Professor's Research. Discard your hand, draw seven cards. Fastest, most aggressive supporter in the game. We've got Marnie. Both players shuffle the hand into the deck. You get five cards, your opponent gets four. Decent draw while also doing a little bit of disruption on your opponent. We've got Boss's Orders to drag your opponent's Pokemon from the bench into the active. And we've got Bird Keeper that switches while drawing free cards. And as we've started to see in a bunch of decks like Zash Index, there is a single copy here of Leon. Leon just makes your attacks do an extra 30 damage this turn. It's more damage modification. Yes, we've got Galarian Berserker. Yes, we've got Galarian Zigzagoon. But you know what? This is still the kind of deck where you are going to need some extra damage sometimes you want to be trying to one hit KO everything you can and taking advantage of the fact that your main attacker only gives up two prizes well this will do that very nicely indeed hey while we're talking about damage modification is this a good time to mention rusted sword yeah, you see, we're actually still going in terms of damage manipulation you see rusted sword uh, it's one of these new cards. And what it does is you attach it to a Zash and V and you do an extra 30 damage. So if we add all of this up, you've got two Galarian Berserker, that puts you up to 270. Rusted Sword puts you up to 300. And then you can on one turn play a Leon and drop a Galarian Zigzagoon and you're actually up to 340 and that's a KO on an Eternatus V Max. And I'm not going to say this is going to happen every turn because it's not. I mean, partly you're only playing one Leon. But are there going to be games where you can pull off double Galarian Berserker plus your tool plus your supporter card? Yeah. 
Yeah, there are going to be those games. And on those games, you are going to be able to one-hit KO anything. Because I just showed you how to one-hit KO Eternatus. And Eternatus has more HP than anything else in the entire game. It is rather ridiculous. Now, there are a couple of other tools here. There is an escape board for Jirachi. Obviously, that has rotated out. It's being played as a one-off, I think, will be fine. But we also have Air Balloon, which reduces retreat cost of anything by two, which is fairly useful. And there is a Tool Scrapper here to get rid of your opponent's tools. There's one copy of Reset Stamp to put your opponent down to a new hand equal to their remaining prizes. Good if they've taken a little bit of a lead in the game. And there is actually one copy of Pokemon Communication. I told you the deck doesn't need to play anything to search out Evolve Pokemon. And they don't, because Meowth gets Berserker. But it's still nice to have one more Pokemon search card if you're into it. And then, of course, we've got those Metal Saucer that I've mentioned a couple of times. Let's you attach a Metal Energy from your discard to one of your Bench Metal Pokemon. So, it helps get Zashin rolling nice and quickly. Oh, and then there is a single copy here of Chaotic Swell. This is your Stadium of Choice. It's not a phenomenal card as a one-off. But as a one of it actually works all right. Essentially, you put it down to replace it in an opponent's stadium... And then the second stadium they play instantly gets discarded with this. And that's hilarious. But you know what? It's not going to work all the time because it's only played as a one-off. But if you're going to play a one-off counter stadium, you cannot do better than this. It's a very new way of playing Zashin. It's not the kind of Zashin build we're used to. But between your Galarian Berserker, your Galarian Zigzagoon, your Rusted Sword, your Leon. You've got so many ways to manipulate damage up here that you can actually... KO, not all the time, admittedly, but often enough, you can go and KO three prize Pokemon using a two prize Pokemon, which is going to swing the prize trade in your favor, which is going to lead to an awful lot of wins. That's what I think, at least. I'd like to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section, would you go nuts? Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time would ya thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching ptcg radio